Hello, Keith Rock here at VengeMachinery.org. Well, guys, I thought I was through with the lawn lathe restoration, and lo and behold, I went to do some threading the other day and realized I didn't have a thread dial on the lathe. And what had happened is when I pulled this off, it got in a different pile than the rest of the stuff for the lathe. And uh, once I saw it gone, I knew, I remembered where I had put it. But in the process of restoring the lathe, I just totally forgot about this thing. And it was one of those things that, I didn't notice it wasn't there until I needed it and it wasn't there. So anyway, we're gonna do a quick uh, tear down on this and uh, basically give it a new paint job, clean it up, put it back together. And uh, I thought we'd just make a quick video showing the process. So um, anyway, we'll zoom in here and uh, start tearing it down. So basically all this is, is uh, it, there's a little bolt on the side of the carriage and uh, this goes in there, it, it pivots on that. So when you slide this up, there's a gear that goes into the uh, uh, threading lead screw for threading um, and it will let you clock. Basically when it turns, it spins this around and around and up on the top you have your clock here which tells you uh, what position you're in on your, on your lead screw so that you can properly engage uh, for threading. And if you ever watched me do threading before, uh, you've seen me use one of these. So it's fairly simple. Uh, all we gotta do basically is take this gear off the bottom, slide that out, clean it up, paint it, et cetera. So let's get this little uh, brass or bronze gear off. So it's got a tapered pin in it, and it also has a set screw. So we'll start by pulling out the set screw. This looks like that one maybe. No, oh, that's one size too big. Goodness, there it comes. Okay, and you can see right here, there's one side of the pin. Sorry about that, had to take a quick break. I was standing here and, and my dog was outside the shop and the and pin and all of a sudden uh, just started going crazy. Uh, like there was something coming up behind the shop. So I turned the camera off to walk out there. I didn't know what to expect. The way the dog was acting, I figured it was a bear or an alligator or something like that. It was a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> anyway, so back to this. So you see the little pin here. Uh, there's one side of it. There's the other side. This is a tapered pin. I'm pretty darn sure everything else on here is tapered pins. So one side is bigger than the other and we need to make sure we're driving it in the correct direction. Let me grab my calipers and uh, we'll try to figure out uh, which side is the big side and which side is the little side. So that's about 150 thousandths on that end. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher to pin. No, I think this is a smaller end here. So we'll try driving it out in that direction first. Um, got my Sterrett drive punch set. I love this set right here. Actually, I could probably go up one. Yeah, that's Yeah. I'm just gonna have to get on it a little bit harder. There it goes. And it is a tapered pin. All right, so hopefully now that's gonna come off the bottom. I'm gonna have to get something to kinda, tell you what, I might be able to just drive it out. It's coming out pretty easy here. Um, it's just needing a little help.
there we go. So the gear, there's a little uh, bronze uh, spacer in there. This comes out, oh, that's just all grease. Wow. All right, let me take that over to the parts washer and clean that up. All right, guys, uh, everything's taken apart here. I'm gonna just, uh, I think uh, instead of getting the citrus strip out for just this, I'm just gonna take that over to the wire wheel, clean all the old paint off of it, uh, get that dial up here on the top where I can read it a little bit better, clean that up, uh, and we'll give it a paint job and put it back together. I'm just gonna go wire wheel it now. We'll do it off camera. All right, that cleaned up really quick and easy over there on the wire wheel. I got all the old paint off of that. Uh, it's ready. It's ready for new paint now, and uh, that big gauge there, hidden on the wire wheel, and then I spent a couple minutes on the Scotch Brite wheel, polished it up. Man, that thing looks nice. So uh, anyway, let's get our paint out. We'll paint that, let it dry, and we can uh, put it back together. Okay, let's uh, put some paint on this puppy. As I have mentioned before, when I'm painting rough cast iron. I tend to just do it with a brush. I can get a nice thick coat of, of this uh, paint. I'm using a Sherwin-Williams uh, oil base enamel here. Does a really nice job. And that's what basically how I painted that whole machine over there. Uh, spray painting will work. You'll probably have to put multiple coats on when you brush it on You can just get a nice thick coat on in one pass and uh, it may take a little bit longer to dry and cure, but uh, you have a nice thick coat of paint on there and uh, when you paint with a brush, I think it just adheres to the uh, To the metal better you're brushing it in there. You're not just laying it on top you know, the brushing action actually kind of gets it down into those pores in that rough cast iron. And, uh, you know, I may be crazy. I'm no painting expert by any means, but uh, I've had excellent results with it. I'm going to paint this whole thing in one pass, and I've got this uh, rod over here that I can... Uh, kind of set it up on now that I'm getting down to the, where I can't hold it, move that over here. So anyway, that way I can do it all at one time and not have to leave a spot and come back and paint it later because if uh, when it dries on that cardboard, it'll stick to it. So I'm purposely not getting any paint up on the top of that uh, Uh, zerk, grease zerk there so it doesn't clog it up. And I've, I probably will just end up taking that out and replacing it. I've got a whole set of brand new ones over there. Let's see here. All right, I'll let that sit overnight and uh, dry and we'll put it back together tomorrow. All right guys, we've let this uh, paint dry and uh, the part looks real good so it's time to put her back together, not much to it. So I cleaned this up. You can see how good that dial looks now. We uh, wire wheeled it and then I kind of buffed it on a scotch Brite wheel and uh, anyway, it looks good. There's a little brass uh, uh, thrust washer in there. This will drop back down in here. Come out in the bottom. There's the top of the dial on the bottom. We got another little brass uh, Thrust washer that goes in here and our gear. So let me figure out this. Yeah, so I was trying to figure out that that's a tapered hole in there. And I was trying to figure out which end to go in, but you can actually see there's a set screw and I can see the mark on there where the set screw is. So that kind of helps me index that. So we'll tap this in place. All right, I think we got that lined up. I had to fiddle with it a little bit off camera and we'll just uh, drive that home. Take a punch here. I'm just gonna punch it down flush with the uh, gear. Okay, that's good. 
and we'll tighten up the uh, set screw as well in here. And that should be pretty much it. Uh, do you need to put my grease fitting back in here? I got a nice uh, clean new grease fitting. Oh. All right, we'll pump this up with grease and it should be ready to go back on the lathe. So here we go, it's just uh, on a little stud coming off the side of the lathe here, it mounts on here. Let me turn it on. And uh, when you en engage the machine, here's my screw for threading. I can pull this around, engage it. I need to kind of tighten that bolt up, but you can see it right here the thread gauge is coming around. And that helps you clock and know when to engage your uh, half nut uh, for threading. So anyway, that's, that's done. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off right now. Well, there you go. That's a quickie for you, but uh, necessary little restoration to finish up the, the LeBlanc lathe. And uh, we're ready to do some threading. I got my piece up here to do some left-handed um, modified square threads and we'll be putting out a video on that very soon now that we uh, got our uh, our thread dial put back on thanks for watching guys talk to you later